Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you my other oddball. Last time I showed you the Naranjia, which had all the spiky leaves. And now I'm going to show you the other really unusual thing that I'm growing in the garden. This is actually two plants. It goes from all the way over there. That bed is four feet wide, by the way. Over and over <laughs> and over and it's going up the vine up the tree and that is a kawano also called a jelly melon it's supposed to taste like a cucumber banana lime combination and I'm pretty excited to taste it because it looks really interesting someone gave me the seeds for last year's garden I planted them and for some reason they just didn't grow. Well this year I had two seeds left, three seeds left, and I got two plants. And I had a little talk with them and I said, look, if you guys want to keep your, your lineage going, you're going to have to grow and you're going to have to produce. And I guess they heard me because this is two plants. And let me show you what's down underneath those leaves. Take a look at that, would you? This one seems to be the first one that's changing color. You have to be careful picking it up because it is covered in spikes. And yes, they are sharp. There are, there's one just starting to form. And here are two, three, four other big ones in here. Now, the research that I did says that these come from South Africa and once the fruit sets, in other words, that little bitty fruit that I showed you is going to take 30 to 40 days to fully mature and ripen. So these big ones that are about the size of an avocado are about the size that they should be before they start to get ripe. And a couple of these have started to change from the dark green to a little more lighter green, but they're nowhere near ripe yet. Another thing that I thought was interesting is that it said that these vines could have up to 100 fruits each. Now I have been looking through here and I've counted at least 22, so I don't know how many more there are because I didn't count all the little bitty ones, I only counted the good sized ones. Needless to say, though, I should have plenty to taste. Here are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Just right here, there are ten. I kind of wish they would hurry up because I'm anxious to taste them, but. I also don't want them to all get ripe at the same time because I'm not sure how to preserve them or if they'll even preserve. So I hope that one or two will get ripe fairly soon so that I can taste them. And if I like them, of course, I'll do my seed saving thing <laughs> and uh, grow them again. But we'll have to wait until they're mature to find out. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> 